Good morning everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Lena and I make college and book related content here on YouTube. And today I'll be sharing with you all a college day in my life. This morning I was just working on my Harry Potter reading which I had to get done before my 8.30 class. So it's definitely a little last minute. But basically as I'm reading, I'll just note down any important plot points or thematic um, things that I think are worthwhile that I might want to consider for a future essay. Uh, nothing too complicated, just really simple. So here I am walking to breakfast first at Dana. I usually grab a quick bite to eat before my 8.30 class and then a fresh snow was falling so I thought it was really beautiful and wanted to catch some little clips of that. And then I got to my 8.30 class a little early because I wanted to chat with my professor about some future potential projects. After my Harry Potter class was over, I needed to walk over to Carnegie for my formal contemporary class, and those classes are back to back, so I really just have to walk straight there. everyone just got back from class I will update you all about how my day has been going and what I need to get done before I do that we need to do the essential step first which is make tea So as I said, I'm back from class now, and now my tea is made, and I have a little bit of leftover Valentine's Day chocolate from class yesterday. Our professor kindly brought us in some Valentine's Day chocolate, or just normal chocolate. Um, and I have definitely had quite the hectic start to the week. It is Tuesday, February 15th, and last week we had mid-semester break, which meant we had Thursday and Friday off of classes, as well as obviously Saturday and Sunday. And I had a lot of homework, more than usual, because professors thought that because we had more time off, we had more time to do homework but I wanted to take time off and so I started off this week behind, which was like not really a great way to start the week, but it is what it is. So right now it is 12.30 um, and I am going to do my reading for today's American Lit class this afternoon. So I just need to do that reading um, and then I'll be all set for t this afternoon's class. The other thing that I wanted to point out before it switches, cause it's gonna change after today is like, my notebook and this book match for this class. And then I realized that for my Harry Potter class, I have this notebook and folder for my Harry Potter class and the book, the Harry Potter book we're on, which is the second book, 
matches too. And so I have two sets of classes that match their books and that's just like a little random thing, but it's a little random thing that makes me happy. Anyway, I'm going to get to reading and then after my American Lit class today, I have Wind Ensemble, which I play the flute for those of you who don't know. I don't know if I've ever talked about that on this channel. But I have wind ensemble and I play the flute, so we're, I'm going to go to that rehearsal after class. And then after that, I'll have a little bit of time to grab supper and then it'll be immediately to constitutional law. So definitely a hectic day. I have a lot of work to get done and I'm definitely not gonna get it all done today, but the good news is I have more than enough time tomorrow. Yeah, that's it, so let's get into the work. I have a similar strategy as I do for Harry Potter in that I take notes in a separate notebook when I'm reading, but typically I try to focus on either literary movements that we're talking about in class or relevant themes that we're talking about in class or just really cool and beautiful quotes that I like or authors that I want to check out later so I just make a note of things that I'd like to read. And that's basically how that works. So it is now a little bit after two o'clock, which means I need to pack up my stuff and head over to class. Um, I finished my reading for American Lit as you saw, and then I took about a 20 minute break. To be honest, I don't think I've mentioned it in this video, but my Tuesdays and Thursdays are really hectic because I have class essentially starting at 8.30 in the morning and then ending at 8.30 at night. And so it definitely feels like a marathon and it is extremely exhausting, especially like, if you didn't get great sleep the night before, which in this case today, I did not get good sleep last night. Um, so do I want to go to class? No, I really just want to take a nap. Um, but unfortunately, gotta go to class. So I'm gonna head off to class and then go basically come back to my room, grab my flute, go to wind ensemble, come back, grab my constitutional law stuff, go to supper, go to constitutional law, and then finally, at 8.30 tonight, I'll be done and I'll be able to take a deep breath and hopefully go to bed at a decent hour. But let's head off to class before I fall asleep. <laughs> Back from my American Lit class, I survived. It was a little bit like deja vu because I have most of my classes in either Richardson, which is where the English classes are, or Carnegie, which is where my French class is. And then I have like another building as well, but most of them, are, three of my classes are in Richardson. So it gets very repetitive and it kind of feels like I'm just like going and repeating the same thing, the same class every day, even though I'm not. Um, but yeah, so in American Lit, we, um, are reading The Awakening by Kate Chopin, and I'm really enjoying it so far. We're a third of the way through. I've obviously heard about this text a lot in like a feminist and like um, kind of historical survey of how feminism has changed, but I actually haven't read this, so I'm really enjoying it and also glad that I'm reading it. So now I finally know what that what those references are all about. Can you tell I'm tired? <laughs> um, Right now I'm drinking more tea, so. Mostly because I feel like I'm dehydrated, but also because I have a 10 minute break and I have to go to Wind Ensemble soon. Um, so there's that. And then we just got the message that my con law class is starting 10 minutes early tonight. So 10 minutes left for my supper break. Love that. Um, but yeah. I don't know that I have anything else to say other than the fact that this vlog has been a little low on energy because I'm low on energy, but I was looking at my schedule for next week and next week's vlog should be much more engaging or much more productive because I actually will have the energy 
which is a good thing always, but for right now, this is a realistic look at when I'm run down and I don't have enough hours of sleep under my belt. Um, but yeah, so let's head off to Win Ensemble in two minutes, but for now I'm gonna continue to drink tea. right now is I left my key card in my room so I'm locked out yeah so I'm currently editing the vlog that you are watching and it's definitely a bit of a downer vlog um debated on uploading it but I think I'm going to I did not film a wrap-up clip last night so I went to con law I did that class got out came back to my room I had to fill out some paperwork for my CA responsibilities so I did all of that, and then I was just so exhausted, I went to bed. I wanted to read, I wanted to relax, but I was just too tired to do any of those things, so I just immediately went to sleep, and now it's the next day, Wednesday. I spent the morning in the library doing a bunch of homework, and now I'm editing this video. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about college, or anything really in general, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. I promise next week's vlog will be much more engaging and hopefully more upbeat. But that being said, I will see you all next week.